Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Rhythmic Gymnastics, guys. I have David all the way from California joining me, and my name is Mikey Thalko Woodruff, all the way from New Mexico. We're in two different time zones, but we're only one hour apart. What an amazing night of rhythmic gymnastics. Oh my gosh, it is 3.30 in the morning here. David and I have been watching the entire individual all around competition and just couldn't be more proud of our girl, Lenoy. She did so amazing. She did so good. Yes. And everybody worked so hard and it was so amazing to see all their routines progress over the season and so happy for Dina and so happy for Alina. Yes. Course, Absolutely. Alina Harnasco, she is now the Olympic bronze medalist. I know. Oh. So excited. Yes. Uh, yes. We were crying, and now it's like 3.30 in the morning. Uh, yes, and now we're getting sleepy, <laughs> watching the medal ceremony <laughs> at 3.30, well, in the morning for me, 2.30 in the morning for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for her. I know. Our Nashko did it. I am, oh, she did so fantastic. Oh. oh, I'm so happy for her. I know. She worked so hard during the lockdown. Cyclical. It's been Olympic cycle after Olympic cycle after Olympic cycle. Oh, she did a great job. But yeah. She did a great job as so well. Close. It was so close. Fans and audiences over the last four years, and she's also delighted us here at Tokyo 2020. I don't think she wanted to put she it on. The silver medal, which is also a huge achievement. Mm -hmm. Especially she after all she's gone through with injuries, that silver medal is huge. Victory today and gaining a pace on the podium. I think they're going to be done after this. Yeah, well, Dina needs her body to recover. Observing and so close to an historic moment uh, certainly stirs, stirs you up. Oh, well, that's good. At least Dina kissed her medal. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Lucky it was such a great competition. This, uh... Came down to the very last moment. Alina looks so, so excited. So excited. To be an, Olymp an Olympic medalist. Age. Age yeah, Harnashko is good. This is not over for Harnashko. She still has a 2024 ahead. So it's only two and a half years from now. Some more photos taken before they leave after a day of uh, significant drama and high quality rhythmic gymnastics. Be hard to match this one. Must be something about the Ariaki Stadium here. <laughs> it's produced some absolute thrillers. Oh, thriller is right. It's a great credit to all the competitors who've come here considering how much the competition has been affected, that they've risen to a... Well, I hope Dina, um... Recovers. I hope she gets healed. Yeah. Listen to her body first. If there's one thing we learned from Simone Biles this past week, it's okay to not be okay. If you like your sports drama laid on pretty thick, then uh, you'll be... have your appetite well satisfied with what we've just seen. And they get to take their victory lap. Two gold medals for Israel coming both from gymnastics, one in men's artistic and now one in rhythmic. Mm. You can't help but be proud of this moment. It's just... They worked so hard. All yeah. 
and especially like when she became European champion last year, we we saw like so, the, a glimmer of the photos, potential that so, she could like historic the history that she could make. Yeah, join the list of medal winners. Amazing. You know, the individual all round rhythmic. Very good floor manager, this fellow. We've watched him with all the medal winners. Gets them organized. And the photographers know <laughs> knows how to get the good shots. Yeah, that's quite an efficient little process. And the athletes don't mind. No, they're happy to stay there as long as the cameras want to snap. <laughs> of course, that's why they're rhythmic gymnasts. more to do for all of them satisfy the world's media satisfy the world audience that's for sure oh Dina just took off her medal mm. yeah that's fine it's Lenoy's moment I, but I mean, I think they like really emphasize the win gold or don't come home mentality. Yeah. So, but it's like when you're not the best that day, and you know, it it's just something that they'll have to accept. Nina didn't have any other drops, did she? She just had some small mistakes with the ball and with the a missed trajectory with the ribbon. And she had some issues with the hoop also. I, the difficulty score wasn't as high as Lenoy's. And I think Lenoy just came into it with so much higher difficulty. Yeah. And her execution today was so good. Because we don't always see that with Lenoy. Yeah. Yay, and Lenoy! Just seeing this last little bit of this little mon montage. Yes. She can now call herself Olympic champion. Tokyo 2020 has thrown up a lot of great moments and great finals. And this is another one. This is one of the best ones. Just witnessed. I hope you at home uh. enjoyed it as much as we have. A terrific day of competition. Not too much left. We hope you can join us for the group final. If it's anything like this one, uh, we're in for another great session. But 3 a.m. in the morning. I know. And it was worth every minute of it. Yes, of it. So I'm so proud. Thank you for staying up with me all night it was my pleasure <laughs> yes so happy and, to have with you yes and hope everybody out there enjoyed the rhythmic gymnastics competition don't forget to like and subscribe write in the comment section about who what you how you felt about the individual all around and yeah wait for some more episodes we're gonna do the group rhythmic gymnastics tonight actually that's tonight not just tomorrow that's tonight <laughs> so and yes, here in the US. So bye, everybody. Have a great night. Love you. Mm -hmm.